Let me do an example calculation here, um, right? So, so the brief description of, um, of my procedure is that uh, uh, we ran upstairs and timed it. Boy, that, the handwriting is terrible, right? Uh, and then you could have a little diagram of this, or anything. Do, 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 This height here was uh, 2.1 meters. Like that. And here I am running up the stairs. And I am 72 kilograms. Right? There's a beautiful diagram, right? Okay. And the formula that I used, the general formula, was uh, power is... Uh, M G H over T, right? That's the potential energy divided by the time. Um, I'm neglecting the kinetic energy, by the way, that I have at the top. Um, and so maybe that's an interesting question is, can I really neglect that? But, uh, you know, I'm not going to answer that interesting question. I'm just going to show you how to do this, right? Okay, so um, there, there's my formula, right? So let's go ahead and calculate that. My power output was 72 kilograms times 9.81 times 2.1, right? Here are my times, like that. I just made all this up, right? And I averaged those, because that's a reasonable thing to do, right? Then I got 3.56. And let's just do that. Let's see, 72 times 9.81. Uh, let's see, da, 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 yeah, okay. Uh, times 2.1 divided by 3.56 is 416.6 watts. Not bad for an old guy, especially since I made up the, you know, the numbers anyway, right? Okay, um, and then uh, now the question is, what's my uncertainty, okay? Now, the uncertainty formula I'm gonna use here is that the uncertainty of power is the power uh, as and then you just go through all these guys, right? So uncertainty of mass is to mass plus the uncertainty of I'm gonna ignore G, but I'm gonna do H is to H and the uncertainty of time is to time. Now I just guessed what this uncertainty is. I mean, you know, you could ask any wrestler how much they weigh and they could probably tell you down to a few ounces. I know that I'm probably within two kilograms or four point four pounds of you know that or something, right? Uh, height of the stairs, just make a guess. You just you just guess this. Okay, the way you measured it, are you a centimeter, five centimeters, a tenth, ten centimeters, like I'm saying here, right? And then times, you just do, you try to run the same way up the stairs or walk the same way, right? Do multiple trials, right? And our uncertainty of time is going to be the high minus the low over two, right? So the high time is 3.74. And the low time is 3.43. Is that right? Did I get that right? I did. 3.74 minus uh, 3.43 divided by 2. So typically, if you've got a, a bunch of trials like that, that's what you're going to do. So 3.74 minus 3.43 divided by 2. I get uh, point one five five right so I'm gonna say it's about 0.2 seconds because they want us to estimate uh, one digit uncertainties and I'll, I'll always round that up okay so I'm gonna say that the time is 3.56 plus or minus 0.2 okay now I'm all set right now I can figure out the uncertainty of this thing right okay so I'm gonna use this formula here uh, uncertainty of power is to 416.6 as the uncertainty of mass, so what is that, 2 over 72, right, so that's my uncertainty of my mass, right, and then the uncertainty of the height is uh, 0.1 divided by 2.1, and then uh, let's see, this is going to be the time, right, so we're doing this term here. Uh, 0 0.2 divided by 3.56, right? And then if you recall what you end up doing with these sorts of things is you do this whole side times that denominator gives you that, right? Okay, so I'm going to go 416.6 times 
times left parenthesis 2 divided by 72 plus 0.1 divided by 2.1 plus uh, 0.2 divided by 3.56. Let me double check, make sure that is what I typed. Indeed, it looks like it is. And I'm getting that this, this delta P for my calculations here is 54.8. Wants. Now, really what they want you to do is come up with like a one-digit uncertainty, right? So I think what we would do here is we'd say that that's plus or minus 50, right? So we go, the power is 420 plus or minus 50 watts, right? I think it's pretty ridiculous to say 416.6 blah, 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 you know, plus or minus about 50, right? You know, so this is sort of what they want. I'm not going to be a real stickler of how you do that final presentation there, but that's the notion. Okay. Um, and if you do something else like kinetic energy or something like that, uh, I'll show you how to set up this expression. In fact, I'll do that next. And if you're going to do, you know, lifting, bench pressing or lifting or something like that, you can stop here and I'll go and, um, I'll go and do the, the, um, the other way. Right. So the other way is that, Let's suppose you do uh, that our power is change in kinetic energy, right? Over time, right? Then that becomes one half mv squared over time, right? The uncertainty of your power is to the power. So go ahead and calculate it just like in the other example, right? As the uncertainty of mass is to mass plus, and then you've got this is this is the same as one half mv times v, right, over t, right? So it's the uncertainty of velocity over velocity plus the uncertainty of velocity over velocity, right? Or you could do two times that, right? Plus the uncertainty of time over time, right? And then just be very careful if you're doing this method here with uh, the final velocity, right? Remember that if you start from rest, if your initial velocity is zero and your final velocity is something, right? Okay. Remember to use the S equals U plus V over two times T, right? And then if that's zero, your final velocity is going to be two S divided by T. The final velocity is going to be twice your average. Okay. 